Say man, hey man. It's your boy Do It All Hall, and we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. But before I get into the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments what was your least favorite food as a kid? What was your least favorite food as a kid? And don't forget to hit the link in the description to subscribe to my homies' podcast, The Guys, and The Recovery Room Podcast. Those links will be in the description. So with this build, we have the ultimate six foot ten small forward, right? This build could do everything on the court. You're not lacking in no category. I don't care what nobody say. So I need you to watch the video to the end so I can show this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. As you can see, we are going with the small forward position. Six foot ten, like I said. 208 pounds for the weight, 7-1 wingspan, so we can get some really, really good mid-range shooting on this build. Mid-range shooting is very popular this year, so I decided to make more builds with mid-range shooting, even though, you know, we get the same name, three-level thread or mid-range thread or something like that, and, you know, people are tired of seeing that name. I'm tired of seeing it myself, but those just are some of the best builds, but let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing, right? So with the finishing on this build, we will um, have the standard dunk, okay? To me, standard dunk is very important because you want to get those big man contact dunks when you have a 6 foot 10 build, right? You don't get them at 6'9", so when you're 6'10", you want to get those contact dunks, okay? Because if you go in the paint or whatever and you try to dunk on somebody, you want those contact dunks to activate and they do work pretty good on certain builds, all right? For the driver dunk, we're going to get that up to an 87. Now, the reason I did 87, I was going to do a 90, and leave the layup down but that's totally up to you so i just did an 87 and i took the layup to an 80 so for all the people out there that like layup you like fearless finisher you like slithery you like acrobat you will have that on this build and the close shot went up to a 60 on its own and we're going to come down to the strength normally i would take the strength up to like an 84 um, but for this build i took it to a 74 i think that's pretty good uh, for the vertical, we're going to take that to a 75 so we can get our chase down on this. We can get rise up. We got poster rise as well. So we come back up, as you can see, we do get poster rise on silver. And we have a lot of good badges when it comes to the finish. And look at those badges for the layup, though. A lot of gold and Hall of Fame badges right there, as you guys can see. And that's about it for the finishing. I think that's pretty um, pretty balanced, you know, without the post control. Everybody don't like post control. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. This build does have an 82 three-point shot. And the reason I did 82 is so you guys can get gold claymore on your build. Now, you don't get gold corner specialists or anything like that. But you do get gold claymore. So that will help you out when the... Um, you know, you knock down, well, I tell you, you increase the ability to knock down perimeter shots when spot it up patiently. So if you have this build, not saying you can't dribble, but if you like to spot up and, and, and wait on your teammates to pass you the ball, that badge will activate for you, all right? For the mid-range shot, we took that all the way up to a 90 because guess what? We want gold blinders, gold catch to shoot, gold dead eye. And let me show you what, it, what it's like when you take it back down. So we just take the three up to an 82 and that's it. Right, you see all these badges. Look at that. Silver, silver, silver. Well, that's gonna stay silver. Uh, bronze, bronze, uh, silver, silver, silver. Okay, silver again. Now watch this. We take it up to a 90. Bam. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, gold, gold, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Gold, 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 gold. You, you, you see, so that's why everybody is going with the mid-range shot instead of the three-point shot this um, year because you get a lot of good badges with your mid-range shot being high. So that's what we are going to do, you know. Um, the name might say the same thing for a lot of bills, but the bills are totally different in their own way, okay? Um, so do what you do. If you want to take it down, if you want to leave right there, if you want to take it up some more, that's up to you, but that's what we got for this bill. But let's go ahead and get it to the south. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video, so do that for your boy, boy. Now, with this particular build, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can actually take the pass into a 70 uh, or even a 68. That's up to you if that's what you want to do. But we did take it to a 77. I think it looked good for this build to have needle thread on. You got a lot of point guards out there that don't have uh, bronze needle thread. They take their stuff to a 70. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have a lot of passing, but this build can pass the ball. So once you get the rebound, you don't necessarily have to kick it up the court. You can do that if you want to because you do have silver break start. But if you want to walk the ball up the court, run the offense, you can do it with this build. On the ball handle, we're going to take that to a 76. Um, you get some pretty good dribble moves with that. And the speed with ball is a 70, a 70, okay? 
So we're going to go down to the speed and acceleration. Let's go ahead and take that up as high as we can get it. And we come back up, as you can see, we do get triple strike on silver, which is good. We get hyperdrive and blowbound bronze. We get big drive on Hall of Fame. We also get unpluckable on this build. We get gold physical handles, and we do get killer combos. I'm not saying you have to dribble with this build, but in the event that you do want to dribble, guess what? You will be able to dribble with this build. So go out there and do what you're supposed to do. Play within the game. Let the game come to you. Don't force shots, which, you know, everybody force shots every now and then. You know, you think you, you have something, and... They just give you a crazy animation, you know, but that's how it is sometimes with this game. You can't predict the animations, you know. But let's go ahead and get into the defense. So with the defense on this build, I wanted to make sure that in the event that you do get pushed to the power forward position, which you probably will, um, you have some rebounding, okay? You have some interior defense. You have some shot blocking. So we want to make sure that we have those things on the build. And then given the fact that you are 6'10", you have to keep in mind that you don't get clamps like the 6'9", 6'8", and, you know, heights like that. So we got to make do with what we have. And we're going to take the interior defense to a 61. That's enough to get us anchored once we take the shot blocking, though. So we're going to take the shot blocking to a 78. And that does give us silver chase down arts. We get bronze anchor. And uh, we have some interior defense instead of no interior defense, all right? For the perimeter defense, <clears throat> like I was saying, you can't get clamps, but you can still take your perimeter defense up to like a 71 but i took it to a 72 because that's going to give us workhorse once we take the stamina up okay so um that's why i took it to a 72 and the steel is the same thing i took that to a 72 so we can get glove interceptor and right stick ripper so um you can take it down to a 71 if you want to but um we're gonna have work let's see are you gonna get workhorse without it i think you let me see something i gotta, I gotta check that out let me see can you get workhorse without the Perimeter defense. Oh, no, nah, you got to have it. So, we got the perimeter defense at a 72, so we can get workhorse on at least bronze. So, uh, we got a lot of bronze badges, but you had to keep in mind, you are 6'10", so they're not expecting you to have great perimeter defense anyway, but we got some. All right, now, as far as the rebound, we're going to take the defense rebound to an 83, and the offense rebound is a 60. So, that does give us box on silver. We got pogo on silver and rebound chase on silver. So, we go down with speed. We got a 77. Um, we have a 70 on the acceleration, 74 strength, 75 on the vertical, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of Hedo Turkoglu. We got Michael Porter Jr. We got Franz Wagner. And the build name is the infamous three level threat. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what is your uh, your least what was your least favorite food as a kid. And don't forget to subscribe to um, the guys and the Recovery Room Podcast YouTube channels. The links will be in the description. And I'm out of here, man. Charge.